module I will discuss about post transcriptional modification in eukaryotic mRNA. So here I will discuss about the processing of transcript. So here it is one of the in this figure one diagrammatic representation of how post transcriptional modification occur. So here in the 5 prime 3 prime one DNA molecule with one single intron and two exon, exon 1 and exon 2. Now transcription occur with RNA polymerase. So primary transcript forms. So in the primary transcript there is two exons, exon 1 and exon 2 and one intron. Now this primary transcript which formed after transcription it is called heterogeneous mRNA that is the heterogeneous RNA that is one heterogeneous RNA is formed. After the formation this heterogeneous RNA there is a capping and poly A tailing occurs that is called terminal processing. Terminal processing of the 5 prime end and 3 prime end. At the 5 prime end cap will be added and at 3 prime end poly A tail will be added. After the capping and tailing process the intron will be spliced out that is the it is called splicing of intron. After splicing of the intron, there is a ligation of coding sequence occur. That is the two exon will be one exon one and two will be joined. So mature mRNA it will be transport across the nuclear membrane and ultimately this is called cytoplasmic mRNA which ready for protein synthesis. So this is the basic diagrammatic representation how post transcriptional modification occur. In details that is what is the mechanism of 5 prime capping. At the 5 prime capping one guanosine monophosphate is added at the primary 5 prime end of primary transcript. Now this guanosine monophosphate is added by an enzyme it is called guanyl transferase. So guanyl transferase added guanosine monophosphate and this guanosine monophosphate is connected by a pyrophosphate bridge with the 5 prime end of the primary tra mRNA transcript. So it is called 5 prime 5 prime pyrophosphate bridge. Subsequently, methylation occur at the seventh position of guanosine molecule that is called cap zero methylation. And this methylation was carried out by an enzyme, it is called methyl transferase. Subsequent methylation occur in the base one and base two. This is called cap 1 methylation and cap 2 methylation and both the cases methylation occur at the 2 prime position of the pentose sugar. So this is the 5 prime capping that is the modification of the 5 prime end of the RNA. Second part is the polyadenylation or 3 prime end processing. Here there is a hexanucleotide sequence is there it is AAU AAA. This hexanucleotide sequence it sends the signal for the processing of 3 prime end. After sending the signal 200 adenosine monophosphate is added at the 3 prime end. This is called poly A tail and this addition is facilitated by poly A polymerase enzyme. Now if there is any mutation in this hexanucleotide sequence AAU, AAA, that is U is mutated to suppose G, in that case polyadenylation will be prevented, no polyadenylation will occur. Here in this diagrammatic sequence, 
here showing that is one cap is present in the primary transcript and then a polyatail tail is present polyatail tail and a cap now cap and in between cap and the starting codon a u g there is a sequence is called leader sequence which is a five prime non coding sequence then there is a coding sequence which is followed by three prime non coding or trailer sequence which is followed by polyatail so this is the diagrammatic representation of polyadenylated messenger rna next this is the what is the functions of cap and tail their functions are they protect mrnas from degradations or the also they enhance the transport of mrna from nucleus to the cytoplasm enhance splicing efficiency also they facilitate the ribosome attachment to mrna and the they protect mrnas from degradation that is from the attack of nucleus now how splicing occur the splicing means removal of the intron part now splicing signal is sent by there is a two sequence one is gu sequence another is ag sequence gu sequence is present at the 5 prime end that is called donor site and ag sequence is present at the 3 prime end it is called the 3 prime acceptor site gu at the beginning of the intron and ag at the end of the intron now ag gu the sequence is called price point exon intron boundary and agg it is called price point intron exon boundary so this intron is spliced out this process is called splicing let us see what are the other proteins or other enzymes involved here now this intron is spliced out by some RNAs it is called small nuclear RNAs there are five small nuclear RNAs they are u1 u2 u4 u5 and u6 these five small nuclear RNAs now these five small nuclear RNAs they bind with protein and they form small nuclear RNPs or SNRPs this small nuclear RNPs along with ATP and magnesium ion they help in splicing process and they together called spliceosome this together they are called spliceosome now this SN RNP small nuclear ribonucleoprotein the first U1 is bind with 5 prime, 5 prime splice site that is U1 is bind with 5 prime splice site SNRNP and U2 this another small nuclear ribonucleoprotein U2 it also binds with the adenine or it is called branch site this is a in the intron there is a sequence that is the adenine rich sequence is there which is called branch point or branch site so in the branch site at adenine u2 binds then other snrnps that is u4 u6 and u5 also binds as a result of which it cuts the 5 prime end that is 5 prime end is clipped it is showing here the 5 prime end is clipped and after the cleaving of the 5 prime end u1 and u4 released then this u4 u6 this u5 they clip the 3 prime end and the 5 prime end it connects with a, the adenine and they form a lariate structure the lariate structure is formed 
and ultimately they are removed from the exon. So exon 1 and then exon 2 are joined together and this is called spliced mRNA. So this spliceosome which is consist of all these SNRNPs along with ATP and magnesium ion that is U1, U4, U6, U2 and U5 they together called spliceosome and they helped or they helped in splicing of your intron from the exon. So exon 1 and 2 connect joint and pliced mRNA or mature mRNA form and they pass across the nuclear membrane and come to the cytoplasm for protein synthesis. So in this module we have discussed about the how post-transcriptional modification occur which is very important for protein synthesis. Key concepts and summary of module is provided, list of books for further reading, and study materials for download. So thank you for attending our online course. Over and above, if you have any question, please feel free to ask.